So if you want your song to run quiet enough to hear a pin drop, then stay tuned. GV Aquariums Australia. Okay then viewers, this is my 250 gallon or 1000 litre South American tank. And being such a big tank, it requires a lot of flow to go through the sump. And because this tank is in our dining room, the boss stipulated that it has to be quiet or I wasn't allowed to have it. So the system begins with a modular marine overflow box and inside there's a bean animal overflow, which we'll get to later. Then it flows down through the pipes and you'll notice the two overflows finish well below the water level. That means there's no splashing, no noise at all from the sump end. And for the returns, I have two pumps. That way there's a backup in case one ever dies. And the smaller pump, which runs off my backup power supply, flows straight up to the return. And my larger pump, which runs through a UV steriliser, which I use for about a couple of hours once a week, flows up to the other side of the overflow box. Now I don't use check valves or non-return valves on any of my returns, because I really don't like them, and I'll explain why I don't need them later on in the video. Now the keen-eyed amongst you might be wondering why I have black plastic on top of the tank. Well, it runs all the way along the back and out over the overflow which provides a shadow and it hides the back of the tank and hides the overflow and the returns really well. Now this is the modular marine overflow box which from memory is about 2400 gallons per hour which is more than enough flow for what I'm going to need for this tank. And I like it because there's a one piece weir that goes inside the tank and the rest of the box on the outside of the tank. And being such a low profile, it really blends in and doesn't stand out much at all. To install the box, we did have to drill two holes, which wasn't very hard. Although it was fairly stressful, the hardest part was trying to convince yourself you're not about to ruin this tank you've paid a lot of money for. But in the end, it all worked out okay. And there it is, all fitted up nicely. Now let's talk about what happens inside the box. As I said, it's a bean animal system, which consists of a full siphon, a secondary drain, which is normally a Durso type drain, and an emergency in case it all goes wrong. So here's the box, and through the magic of television, here's what it looks like inside. So as the box fills up, the water flows into the primary siphon and that will force all of the air out of the primary line. If your line terminates below the water level like mine does, sometimes it will struggle to push all of that air out and it will create an airlock, which is why I've drilled a little hole in the top of the pipe and that will let air out and allow for a full siphon. So once all the air is gone from the pipe, you've achieved a full siphon and that will take the majority of the flow from your tank. Now that we've achieved a full siphon in our primary drain, any extra flow will be taken up by the secondary drain or secondary standpipe. This also sets the water level inside the tank. And the reason why we have a greater flow rate than what the full siphon can handle is to allow for any fluctuations in flow rate from the pumps. This secondary standpipe, which is a Durso style standpipe, is sometimes known as an open channel drain and it only has a partial siphon. Standpipe has a small vent hole in the top elbow and that's what prevents the siphon from forming inside the pipe. The hole has a little tap on it, which means you can adjust the amount of air that gets in to stop any noise. And if it all goes pear shaped and we have too much flow or we have a blockage, we have an emergency drain in the middle, which is just open all the way through and will make a lot of noise. In order to tune our overflow to make it silent, we need to be able to adjust the flow. So we use valves. 
There are two types of valves we use. This one is a ball valve and it's not really ideal for fine tuning an overflow to get it quiet because the slightest movement of that handle makes a big difference to the amount of water that can go through that valve. Ideally, we'd use a gate valve like this one. So with a gate valve, each turn of the handle closes the valve only a small amount. This allows for a lot better fine tuning of the flow. Even though I have ball valves on my drains, it doesn't really matter. With these adjustable pumps, you can adjust the flow a tiny little bit at a time, which allows for perfect tuning. Now it's time to see the bean animal in action. To fire up our pumps. Water out the returns, which will raise the level of the tank. Water comes up over the weir. Into the box. Now that siphon's pushing all the air out. And the last bit of air will be forced out that little hole at the top. And then now we have a full siphon and any remainder flow will be taken up by the standpipe. So it's a minute and 15 seconds and it's completely silent. I also promise to explain why I don't need to use check valves on my returns. I don't like them because they can fail and they also cause a restriction in the line, which means you need to use more electricity for the same amount of flow. My returns terminate just below the surface of the water. Not only does this give really good surface agitation to help with the gas exchange, once the pumps are turned off, they'll only siphon a little bit back before the tank level drops and allows air to get in, breaking that siphon so we don't overflow the sump. Once the pumps are off, my top tank only drains about half an inch. And this is what it looks like when I fire the pumps back up. Having the returns angled downwards like this means there's really good flow around the tank and there's no dead spots at all. Well viewers, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, feel free to leave a like. And any questions or comments, leave them below. Well as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe to check out one of these videos.